Today, we're taking a look at this. Starter kit for Raspberry Pi from Labus. Hey, what's happening guys? Today we've got this nice little starter kit from Labus. There's some information for you. 15 well-designed sensor projects provide Python and C code. If you purchase this kit, you will get the following. We'll go through all that. All right. Let's open her up and see what's in here. First of all, it's a really nice plastic case. Alright, the first thing we have is a Raspberry Pi camera, a ribbon cable with uh, IDC type connectors, a little breadboard, some resistors, 1K, 220R, 10K, and 10K. You got plenty of 10Ks. That's good. This is a little Raspberry Pi uh, GPIO board. Little 9 gram Tower Sir Tower Pro micro server. These are actually nice servos. I've used them in the past. So now we're down to our sensors. And what makes this kit uh, nice, in my opinion, is that these sensors are just as compatible with Arduino as they are with Raspberry Pi. So even though they sell this and build this as a Raspberry Pi uh, starter kit, this is more of a sensor kit, and it is good for Raspberry Pi and Arduino. So let's take a look at what we've got. This is a uh, sound sensor. It's got a little microphone on it. But it's not a microphone that you're going to use. Basically, it's going to detect the noise level set by that little potentiometer and output a signal. Think of it like a sound activated switch. Next up we have an RGB LED. This is common cathode type which means you're going to apply a high signal to the R, G or the B to get those colors and the ground is common between all of them. What is this guy here? Ah, this is a motor driver board. Okay. And that goes along with this little stepper motor. This is the uh, 28BYJ-48. This is a common stepper motor. Uses with Arduino a lot. So that's nice. If I can get this one out. This is... This looks like a, um, a motion sensor. Looking to see if it's on here somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, this is a human infrared sensor. Then we have a capacitive touch switch. All I have to do is touch it. This is another LED. This is a bicolor LED. Probably goes green and blue or green and red. Then we have an LDR. And it looks like it has a tiny little resistor on there, so that's good. You have to use an LDR with another resistor to create a, uh, a voltage divider. Couldn't think of the word there. We have a DHT11, which is a temperature and humidity sensor. We have a passive buzzer. That means you can't just apply voltage to it. You have to apply an alternating signal to it. We have a little tack switch. We have an ultrasonic sensor. A rotary encoder. 
a gas sensor. This is an MQ-2 type gas sensor. The MQ-2 is a, uh, it's like a multi-type gas sensor. It can detect uh, hydrogen, LPG gas, uh, CH4, CO, alcohol, smoke, or propane. Those are really nice. Here we have a relay, which allows your low voltage, low current Arduino or Raspberry Pi to control a high current device that's attached to the other side of it. And the good thing is they're entirely separated. You see there's an opto sensor in there, or an opto isolator rather, and that allows them to remain separated. And we also have a fan. So this kit is available from Labis uh, itself on their website, www.labis.com, or from Amazon. It is uh, $49, depending on who you order, I mean, from either company. And that does seem a bit expensive for these sensors here, but if you take into account the Raspberry Pi camera, which generally sells for like $30 on its own. That's not a bad deal for 20 bucks for the rest of this stuff. Um, let's get out a Raspberry Pi and I'll show you how some of these things fit, fit together. Okay, so I grabbed the Pi 4B. The Pi 3, you know, are pretty close to this. So I'm gonna move that out of the way here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab our uh, connector cable and we can plug it up we're looking for pin number one and I'm going to connect it this way like so So the brown is to our pin number one and then this is going to click in here like so and you're probably wondering well why what's the point of this well the point of this is that you can now take this part and put it into a breadboard So you can put that into your breadboard like that. Now you can have your pie out of the way. I don't like the way they put that connector on. I would have flipped it around the other way. But you can have your pie out of the way and now you have access to all of your individual pinouts from the Raspberry Pi. And if you want to use a sensor grab a sensor like the DHT11 you can plug your DHT11 into the breadboard as well and then using the DuPont cables you can connect it up because if you take a look at your Raspberry Pi without that or you're thinking well well, how am I going to do that? But they give you these cables here, which you can also fit onto here, and then to here and plug in a breadboard, which is a little kludgy if you ask me, which is probably why they've given you this device here as well. Now, the Pi camera itself plugs into this connector here. So here's the Pi camera, and it is a, an 8 megapixel camera, 1080p. I mean, you know, it's not going to be as good as your iPhone camera, but it's not bad. And again, it simply plugs in something like that. 
pull up on that little guy there. Slide those connectors in and then press it down. Then you have your Raspberry Pi camera. So again, just to be clear, the, uh, the Pi 4 itself does not come with the kit. I'm going to put a link down below if you're interested as to where you can order this kit. I think, it, I think it's a nice kit. And like I said, it's good for both Raspberry Pi and Arduino. And as we get closer to 100,000 subscribers, one of the things I'm going to do for my 100,000 subscribers is I'm going to give away this kit, but I'm going to bump it up and I'm going to add in the Raspberry Pi 4B. So it's now worth about 100 bucks. And this is going to be open worldwide when we reach 100,000 subscribers. We're at 91,800 today. So help me get there. And this could be one of the things that you'll have on your bench this fall and winter. Okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to Labis for sending this out, and a big thanks to you for helping me get to 100,000 subscribers. That's it. I'm out. Peace.